in this video, we're checking out the new Harley Davidson Livewire. So let's get started now. So in today's social adventure, we're gonna check out the new Harley Davidson Livewire all electric motorcycle. This is not a hybrid, this is not uh, gasoline in any way, shape or form. This is a plug in and ride vehicle that gets up to 146 miles to a charge. Now, it does have about 105 horsepower. It gets about 95 miles on the highway and stop and go traffic and stuff like that. Um, it is about 110 horsepower, or 105 horsepower, it goes 110 miles an hour. So uh, we're gonna check out all those functions. I'm gonna take you along for a couple rides and uh, see what we think. So I can feel as I roll it back and forth, you can feel it actually sit there and hey, resist. It doesn't roll along. freely. So I just got back from the ride on the new live wire and I got to say that was an amazing ride. I mean the throttle response is absolutely crazy amazing. Um, I had it up to probably 75 miles an hour. I don't know what the top camera caught. Um, we're going to do it again though. We're going to get some more footage of it. Um, I think later today we're going to try out and get a little bit of footage of them riding. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll follow the group. I don't know, if I, but you know what? I don't think I could keep up with them. I mean, we're, we found some areas that we could open it up a little bit, test out the throttle, and it was just an amazing kind of thing. So I wanna show you what you have to do when you're doing this kind of thing. Um, you're gonna come into, um, you're gonna come here and actually you register. You have to have a motorcycle license, but then they're gonna put you on this thing. And that's basically a, a bike that's put on a rollers that you can check the throttle response. This throttle response is unlike any vehicle that you will ever ride unless you've had something that was electric before. But this is a 105 horsepower vehicle. Um, and it, you can see it back here. It's 105 horsepower immediate. It's not, you know, it's not like a car where you get 105 horsepower at 5,000 RPM or even a motorcycle where you get it that you're getting it instantly um, and it just takes off I mean like I said I had it up to 65 75 miles an hour it has a top speed of 110 
um, I don't know if that's something that's limited by gearing or if it, or if it's a, a governor of some sort, but the, the bike takes off. Uh, now the one, the only complaint I have about it is a personal one, and that is the riding position. It is a riding position uh, similar to a sport bike. I mean, if you look at it, it is kind of a sport bike stance, but your foot is all the way back here. And uh, my leg was cramping up on the, uh, when I was riding on the arch of my foot where I normally ride. I really needed to make sure that I was on the ball of my foot to bring my leg up hard, uh, high enough that I didn't end up with a uh, cramp because I was getting cramping in my hip. But once I kind of, you know, I, I couldn't really stretch it out because we were on a ride with everybody. Um, I had to kind of do what I had to do. And then when I finally found that position up on the ball of my foot where I was okay, it was a wonderful ride. So um, we're going to do some more riding and I'll see what you, what you think about it. I found another YouTuber and this guy is Essential G. Uh, so make sure you check out his YouTube channel. I'll put it up in the, in the uh, cards above. But... Uh, we, we just went for a ride, we got back, and tell everybody what you thought. Uh, so, this is the live wire here that we're taking a look at. It is a, an amazing ride. It's actually pretty stunning, particularly if you've ridden a Harley before, that you're not ready for this. This is not your typical Harley. Um, I say the only downside to this that you're going to find is the price tag um, and figuring out where charging stations are. And I would hope that the charging station thing is going to improve over time kind of naturally. So it's just the price tag. Uh, the engineers here are telling us the stay cool, stay calm. They're going to be putting out more of these different specs, different pricing. Um, if this gets anywhere near my price range, there's going to be one in my garage. So well, there you go. But now, I, okay, so someone that is a friend of mine and on the channel often, Karen, you guys know Karen. Uh, she is a she's an avid motorcycle rider. She had a Sportster, and when I was telling her about how you had to test the the um, the throttle out, they have a machine to have you test out the throttle. She said, uh, she basically had the attitude, ah, I just get on a bike and ride. I don't need to do something like that. Do you th do you think that that is a, a true statement, or do you think you really it, that's a benefit to have that? She's an avid rider. Probably she's not going to struggle. Uh, I don't think, I mean, I right? don't struggle. I'm not right. talking about struggle, but that that, that was different. I, that is a I much actually different... agree with you. I videoed it from the side and pointed it out to my viewers. I think it's a good thing they're doing. They're going to stop people from reaching for a clutch. Um, they're going to... And it it is important, I think, that you experience how fast of an acceleration this thing can have if you set it to sport. Um, because with electric, it's just going signal to the engine, done. That's what, a, a millisecond? So yeah. this is not like, even you could take your Sportster and mod it out to 1200 cc's and, and change the exhaust out so it's breathing better. It won't even get near what this bike is going to do. Yeah, I, I explained uh, in another part of the video that, you know, this is 110, 100, what's the horsepower, 105? Thing. 105 110 right around a little over 100 horsepower and it's instantaneous at one rpm you get that right. um, it's not right. like a car or a motorcycle where you're getting that at you know four five six seven thousand rpm you're it's instantaneous right there and yeah. there's actually technology on this bike so that you don't wheelie and you um don't yeah. end, uh, do an endo right so i mean there's a lot of technology on this bike and a lot of rider assist abs um and it, it is a very different experience. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Like, it's 105 horsepower every single millimeter of pull on the throttle all the way through. It would be like, uh, only thing I think that would be close maybe is, is like uh, the, the six-cylinder Honda Valkyrie, right? Where it's just like, you can't, they say it's 100 horsepower. You're not ready for like, it's 100 horsepower at all times, right? So that, that is definitely something to note, but I mean, the flip side is, man, is it fun, you know? Here they come. Trail rider. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, make sure you check out Essential G. Uh, I'll put a link up above and down in the description. Uh, Check his channel out and uh, let him, you know what he think, what you think of his channel as well. Really 
feel that regeneration. Now we're in sport mode this time. We were in road mode last time. Really wants to wind down and break. Don't know how much you can hear of me. Almost need to give it some throttle all the time. Big, uh, you know, the first ride's kind of like getting used to it. I haven't been on a motorcycle in a decade, so uh, you know, now that I've ridden a little bit, it's a lot of fun. I felt the front wheel coming up a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> Got on yeah, it hard, man. Mode? Yeah. Yeah. I did road the last time, well most of the last time, then I put it in 
there you have it there's the new 2020 harley davidson live wire it's not out yet uh, my final thoughts on it it's a great bike um, a lot of fun i mean i was i was really impressed for an electric vehicle i had a lot of fun riding it um is it something i would buy at thirty thousand dollar price tag i'm gonna buy a fifth gen zl1 but um you know as they come down in price and things like that yeah i could i could see myself getting something like this but i would want more of a traditional stance I, that does have kind of a sport bike stance and i like something more traditional and um you know kind of like the the traditional harley the soft tail the v-rod the uh some of a street bike um i did have my leg cramp up the first time but it doesn't mean that i didn't think it was a lot of fun so we did have a lot of fun riding it today i want to thank harley davidson for uh putting on this event uh, this is a great opportunity to test out these vehicles, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when we have another video, and we'll see you next time.